Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to South Florida at Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami. The excitement brewing here in South Florida. As a moment ago, the Dolphins starters were introduced to this home crowd. They're fired up as well as they get set to match up with the Indianapolis Colts. zone Isaiah Rogers and no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17 yard line so from the 17 now here's a first and 10 Throwing now is Wentz. It's complete here to T.Y. Hilton. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. To throw again on second down. Wentz, he'll check this down to Hines. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Seven yards there and a first down. I like it, I like it, I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets them amped up as they go forward. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. All right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers put up their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. A gain of 11 that time and a Colts first down. First down. Now Wentz. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. Well, he was really focused downfield, but there was really no viable options. The coverage was too good. And the defense really quickened the tempo of that play with their pass rush because there was nowhere for him to go with the football. The only place he ended up, down on the ground. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. Five yards on the pickup. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. I'm not sure that this play was designed for him specifically, but they got through the progressions and got the ball to him. So second catch on the drive. He may not be a primary guy, but they definitely want him involved, don't they? Yeah, absolutely. This early, the opening drive, as you said, two catches. So if they can get him going in the passing game, it should open up his running game, too. Not the desired outcome, but probably won't be the last time we see him take a shot downfield. Out is Rigoberto Sanchez on fourth down to punt this thing. Shaquem Grant back deep for Miami. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back.
Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at the 20. Looking to pass to him. He'll get this to his tight end, Gasicki. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. A gain of six there on first. Well, it certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense. And guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. Working with a second and four. A play fake for Gasket. Now Tua. He's letting this one go for Fuller. And that is intercepted. Or was it? Wait, they'll say no. No interception. He did not keep the feet in bounds, apparently. So that's just going to be an incompletion. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Now Tua. He's letting this one go for Fuller. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Picked off by Julian Blackman. And they will finally stop him as he's down to the 40-yard line. When you're in man coverage, you have help over the top, you become a much more confident defender. Trail the receiver and know that someone over the top can make a play, and that's exactly what happened here. The free safety coming up with the interception. And he can't quite bring it in. Might have heard footsteps there across the middle. Second down. That was nice work there defensively to force the incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. Looking for Campbell downfield. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. Well, when I looked down, he was kind of shaking his head right after he threw that pass. So what did you see? Well, from a defense's perspective, anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback, you're in a position to make a play on the ball, whether it's a big-time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback. You have a much better opportunity. Now, the first play of the drive there is incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Mike Kosicki. And now it's second down. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Tua sets up to pass it. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Well, it certainly appears that they're going to try and keep getting him the football. It's the third time they've looked in his direction. Unfortunately, haven't completed one yet, but I'm not sure they're going to shy away from him. They feel like they've got something there, and they want to capitalize on I it. I think you're right. We're only in the first quarter, so a lot of opportunities ahead. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. He's letting this one go for Fuller. Pass caught by Fuller. Well done. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A full 40 yards that time on third down as the chains move with a lot of room to spare. And they go backwards here. Losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because, let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. Second and 11. Yeah. 
We're scoreless after one. Second quarter from Miami. It's the Dolphins with the football as they've got it second down and 11. Room to run for Gaskin. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. That good for 19 at a first down. The running game fully in sync, 1-11 to on that play. And sometimes it comes from the offensive coordinator, understanding what he thinks a defense is going to do and dialing up the perfect play. Sometimes the quarterback, though, can look at the defense, realize he needs to change it to a run, and that gets it done in a big way as well. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. This ball is caught by Shaheen. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. That is now 19-yard gains on back-to-back -back plays. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. On the handoff, it's Gaskin. And this carry terminated at the eight-yard line. Good stick skill showing the power, but just not much room to operate. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. And he's got his tight end, Gesicki, in the end zone. Touchdown, Dolphins. Eight yards on the touchdown pass. And the Dolphins go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. And, oh, he clanks it off the right upright. And it's no good. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. The Colts come to the line, ready to start their next drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked up by Xavier Howard. And he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they're throwing an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. After the turnover, it's Tua. Trying to lay one up deep. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked off by Corey Willis. And he is going to get this one back to the 20-yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. The Colts come to the line, ready to start their next drive. Now, last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Here's Wentz to throw. On Wentz is intercepted yet again. Picked off around the 41. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. Three first-half interceptions now. And, Charles, you'd have to think a fair amount of concern is developing over there on that sideline. And there should be because, essentially, he's been a little loose and possibly reckless with the football here in the first half. Now, maybe it's not all on him, but still three interceptions. That puts the entire team in jeopardy. So the play caller from here on out, Got to design some throws for him that he can complete, keep it away from the defense, and try and get him back on track.
And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Time rolls around. Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. On second and 12, Tua. Throw left side here, complete to the tight end, Gasicki. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. This is Gaskin on the carry. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Sanders kick is good. And that will make our score 9 to nothing. So the fumble recovery had him set up in ideal field position, but they can muster only three points out of it. Yeah, when you're able to force turnovers, especially when it results in field position like they had, you really want to make it hurt. Here, they take the field goal. That's definitely not what they were hoping for. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. There was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. They'll find Paris Campbell. That's complete. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts. As the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. A first and ten here. And you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. And that is incomplete. Now the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. That's a tough spot for a running back coming out of the backfield because you know he's got to look for the football. Knowing full well, he's got a man coming his way full steam, and he broke that one up. Again, they'll throw with Wentz. That ball caught by Campbell, and he'll cross over out of bounds right at the go. 25. 22 yards there, a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And it's intercepted at the goal line. A great read, and it's picked off. And he returns it up just shy of the 20 to the 19-yard line. Well, we heard all week that they were going to put the football in the air a lot. The problem is that is now four interceptions, Charles, that he has thrown in this first half. How do you treat a situation? What do you say to your quarterback right now? Boy, that's an interesting question because a lot of it depends on the head coach and the people making the decisions. You have to know your quarterback and know if he's mentally tough enough to have a chance to turn it around. Or is he a guy that maybe you've seen enough and it's time to go to the backup? But right now, what you're rooting for is your defense to help keep you in the game, to give him an opportunity to get back on track. Setting the throw on first down is Tua. Oh, and Tua going to be intercepted for the third time. Picked off by Rocky Sin. And he will bring it back. An interception return for a Colts TD. You think you're going into halftime with a good size lead not so fast that pick six really changes the complexion probably also changes the halftime speech no doubt about it instead of going in relaxed you're probably a little more uptight right now probably a little bit angry let's see if they get their focus back sanchez now he'll kick it away following the touchdown the 
Browns take over first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And with a two-point lead in hand, they may not do anything too aggressive here. Tonga Bailoa trying again after the pick six. He's going to look deep down the field. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Xavier Rhodes with a pick. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Well, Charles, you know, so close to halftime there. You throw the interception. Not only that, you do give it to them in plus territory as well. Yeah, they were pushing real hard to try and get something more on the board on their side of the ledger right before the half. Looking at it with 20-20 hindsight, though, might have been better to hand it off a few times, hoping to get something to break instead of putting the ball in the air and, of course, putting the ball in jeopardy. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. To throw again on second down. Wentz, he'll take a shot downfield for Pittman. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. A final shot before half for Wentz. He'll take a shot downfield for Pittman. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off Byron Jones, and he will be brought down as time is now run out on this first half of action. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Both teams likely making their final adjustments before the second half. So time for us to go back downstate to Miami and rejoin Brandon and Charles. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Dolphins in front, and they'll be in possession of the football first as the second half gets started. down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And Charles, they've got the lead. I would imagine the overall halftime tone was a positive one, but what do you think the talking points were in the locker room? Well, if there were three talking points at the half, partner, all of them were about turnovers because they were pretty loose with the ball. Otherwise, this lead could be even bigger. Now, I don't think that they overly harped on it, but I think they told them, guys, if you want to keep calling those plays that are exciting, You've got to take care of the ball. Otherwise, we may have to dial things back a little bit. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turning around and tossing it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge, whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football? If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a gain. If they don't, oftentimes it's not a very successful play. 
On second and two, Brissett. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. That was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Territory. Here's a first and 10 at the 47. Off the play fake. Here's Brissad. He's letting this one go for Fuller. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense. First and 10. Brissett now. They'll let this go for the end zone. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Xavier Rhodes with a pick. That is just what this defense was hoping for, an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind, and we've gotten to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys, telling the quarterback, don't worry, we got you to start things off. You take it from there. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Shotgun now for Wentz. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away incomplete. Well, we've talked about it, CD, but it bears repeating. They are struggling to throw the football. All the interceptions and more incompletions. It just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I would agree with that, and it's not a good day when you feel like an incomplete pass is almost a win for you because it wasn't intercepted. And I think the receivers now, when they're running their routes, they want to catch the ball, but they also want to make sure that the defenders don't take it away. A good return there, call it 13 yards. And it'll be Dolphin football. at the line ready for their next drive and they've got the lead here getting late into the third quarter and the passing game for them it's been terrific we've seen that but the rushing game almost non-existent and with the lead and trying to finish this game off they need the running game to come back to life they need to get sparked that way take some time off the clock and keep the ball away from their opponents not able to go anywhere that time second down well, that was a simple throw and catch but even with that completion zero yards gained so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. They'll run now with Gaskin. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 40 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. That is caught by Waddle. Touchdown, Miami. Well, he's been doing this for a lot of years, and the arm strength still there, and he showed it off on that one. This time, the extra point up and good. And that makes this a nine-point game. Now, after the touch.
touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Bringing it out of his end zone, Isaiah Rodgers. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't come before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked go to so someone well, else. and maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Throwing on first is Wentz. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And boy, another ill-advised throw there as that will wind up incomplete. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. The Colts on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This will be third and six. To throw is Wentz. They'll try and set up the screen to Hines. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Five yards on the screen, but that'll take us to fourth down. Now Wentz, got to have this one. And it's going to be batted down. And we'll go the other way with the football. The Colts unable to convert here on fourth down. And the Dolphins' defense is able to hold. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. Brissett. Looking deep downfield. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. And he's finally out of bounds, but he's taken it all the way down to the eight. That's a well-thrown ball right there. This is where arm strength pays off because he's got to be able to get the ball both downfield and to the sideline. And that's one of the more difficult throws for a quarterback. And he put it right where it needed to be. No gain on the play that time, but it sets up second and goal. Well, no doubt here in the fourth quarter, this is a huge defensive series. Hey, they can read the scoreboard. They realize if they give up a field goal here, this game might be out of reach. They understand the stakes and are playing accordingly. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off by Kenny Moore. And he'll be brought down at his own 10-yard line. Two-score game here in the fourth, and that pick, it kind of keeps the door ajar, doesn't it? It does, and you wonder about their strategy because with a two-score lead, you think maybe you're just sitting on and trying to drain some clock. It's almost like they felt like, hey, we've got a good cushion. We can keep pressing it. It ended up costing them. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. First down, Wentz. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He was looking for Jack Doyle that time. That'll bring up second down. Now Wentz. Catch made here by Campbell. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. 63 yards receiving for him now. And that last catch, good enough for a first down. Now, Wentz again. And that is intercepted on the sideline. Wait, no. They'll say no. It was caught out of bounds. So this is just an incompletion here. 
An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Wentz now to throw. And that'll be incomplete. He started out having some troubles back in the first half connecting with his receivers. Really hasn't gotten a whole lot better. Yeah, he's at less than 50%, and you and I both know that just won't do. So I would think about spreading things out, putting it on the receivers, make them win those one-on-one -on -one battles on the perimeter and find their way open. The Colts on third down. Not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This is third and 10. Throwing now is Wentz. This is caught by Hilton. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Another good reception there. The Colts on the march. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 36. Again, it's Wentz. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Now Wentz. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. He was looking for Michael Pittman that time. And it's third down. This drive, which was going so smoothly, all of a sudden it's a little bit of a roadblock here with two straight incompletions. Yeah, apparently this defense has had enough. Apparently they're saying no more. We're thinking to stand right here, right now. But it is third and ten. They've got to get after him one more time. Now Wentz on third down. He'll take a shot downfield for Pittman. And this is incomplete. Oh, that looked like a sure six points. But he could not get that to stick. And that is a golden opportunity wasted there. Blankenship's kick is good. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. Back now on EA Sports as the kick teams are out here following the two-minute warning. down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And they had a nice little drive going last time. Threw the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah. Will they make up for it? An ideal spot here to get a first down and try to run some more clock. And this is second and less than a yard. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. He's got the first down and more past midfield. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Now a handoff here to his running back. Uh, he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. And to give this time to the tailback. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. 
From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. So a victory here for the Miami Dolphins. And I tell you what, I can't remember a defensive performance as good as this one. They seemingly forced turnover after turnover after turnover every time you turned around. Yeah, you just keep going with it, can't you? After turnover, after turnover. <laughs> as this game unfolded, they were doing all the dictating, right? They told the offense exactly how it was going to go down today. So you saw them deflate with every series, didn't you? Every time they ran onto the field, it was slower and slower to get to the football because they just felt like if we go out there, we're just going to turn it over anyway. So it was really, really a stellar performance. Trying to be friendly, it is what it is. If you want me, come get me. Never you ready, no, I keep it steady. Yeah, I get the W, throw the confetti. Please do not tip me, don't hold it against me. We about that action, don't ever forget it. Why the gorillas, the army, the navy. When I call a play, I'ma score like I'm Brady. The title is mine. If you want it, come take it. Hey, hey. I'm ready for more. Tell them I'm ready, I'm ready for more. 